Omar Celik mainly is uh, a player in the home appliances industry and uh, we're actually pretty global. We are at the moment operating 12 brands in uh, more than 40 countries with sales offices and we do have 22 production facilities where we're actually bringing home appliances to life. And uh, we do have a vast network of R&D and design centers and uh, we actually sell to 150 countries, more than that. And uh, about 30,000 uh, employees are working around this complexity. Well, when we decided to discuss whether we should deploy private wireless networks or start even talking about wireless networks in addition to Wi-Fi in our plants or in our life, uh, we actually have come to one conclusion. The industrial processes are going digital and very quickly. And that does require robust connectivity. We noticed that we needed a dedicated network and it had to be independent with a dedicated radio equipment. This made the data stay local. That is very, very vital for production companies. We really don't want our data to go out as much as possible. And it had to be optimized for industrial applications because when you don't optimize your network for industrial applications, you really can't deliver what you want to deliver in your use cases. It's very easy to talk about all possible use cases, but when you run a proof of concept, you come across a lot of troubles along the way. So if you have a network that can deliver the right quality of service, or if you can tailor it to different applications like AGVs, like uh, predictive quality, or like drones, then you really have to have a network that you can optimize. And the other part that was extremely important for us was, uh, well, networks is not our core business. So we are very good mechanical engineers in Archelic, but um, we're not necessarily a telecoms engineer. So we really wanted something readily deployed. And that is what we have found with the Nokia equipment. So Nokia NDOC actually is a self-contained network. So it does have its core part, it, it comes, uh, it comes pre-configured, so it requires very little touch uh, by, by our uh, support team. So actually, that, that was extremely interesting for us. So it's like one-stop shop for everything. We expect very high reliability because um, we have very strict KPIs. We want our throughput to continue as we have planned. We can't stop the plant whenever we want. That's actually deadly for a discrete manufacturing company. We have to have intrinsic security, and we know that Wi-Fi does not provide that. So uh, we really have to work harder to bring on an overlay security when you're running a Wi-Fi network. And full mobility is never guaranteed with Wi-Fi at this stage. So we are running our AGVs with Wi-Fi at the moment. We have not yet transitioned to a private mobile wireless network, and we do have some uh, dark spots where they have to stop or they have to slow down. The handovers may not work, even when you really invest heavily on Wi-Fi with many, many hotspots. Uh, and pervasive coverage is one thing that comes, well, that's, that's part of the package again with a par private mobile network. And as said, predictable performance, that, that's actually really, really important because if you're really flying drones in your warehouse that is counting stuff, then you really have to have predictable performance. Uh, if you want your AGVs to go at certain speeds, you have to have predictable performance. If you want to run additional services on your AGVs, like you want to put some environmental sensors or you want to add on some cameras, then, then you really have to guarantee certain bandwidth. You really have to guarantee certain latency. Just to give you an idea what kind of uh, use cases we have planned to start with. So the scope of the cooperation with Nokia and Turkish Telecom is providing us the frequency. Um, we have decided to first and foremost, we are not implementing 5G because in Turkey, we don't have 5G possibility yet officially. So we are starting with private LTE that is 4.9G for our first cases, that's gonna be sufficient. In the future, we do hope to get into 5G. And the uh, next steps would be mostly on the visual analytics because when we look at the necessity here, it's mostly on the mobile applications and, and the applications that require a lot of bandwidth and low latency and, and visual analytics and, and the mobile uh, devices requirements lie in there. And uh, we also would like to, uh, for example, equip our AGVs with extra sensors, but at the moment we can't because our Wi-Fi network cannot handle all this data. So it's, we, we really have to have something better to handle that. With a mobile network, 
at least for part of the plant. With the layout change, we will have a flexibility. So it will bring us pace, faster pace of layout changes. And we do hope that that will be a lot less costly. With video analytics, we actually know that we can do a lot of predictive quality cases, which we can't do at the moment with Wi-Fi, and it will be a lot faster. So mission critical predictive quality operations will be enabled much better. So it wasn't easy to decide. So uh, for a discrete manufacturing company, uh, which is selling washing machines, uh, the unit profit uh, per device is not very high. We're not producing robots. Hopefully we will in the future. But um, at this very moment, this was not an easy decision. It took us a very long time. We had to um, go to Espo, see the demos, and uh, Nokia luckily had to do a lot of hand-holding. We had to explain it to each and everyone in the company who had no idea about this. And uh, we had to run a lot of use case workshops, and we still keep doing them together with Nokia and with other partners. So we will do a before and after analysis. And I really hope in our next talks uh, with Nokia and with our ecosystem partners, uh, we can go out and say that we're proud we have implemented this. And yes, before private wireless, uh, it was X. And after private wireless, it's 5X, so at least. <laughs> So that's our hope, and that is all from Marcinic and from me. Thank you so much for listening.